Hello, my name is Asa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a needle animation for your custom character, okay? So, in this case, we did this animation. So, if you want to make something like this, very simple, okay? Don't forget to check this video, okay? And how to animate in Roblox Studio, in this case, a needle animation. My name is Asa, let's start with the tutorial. Hello, my name is Asa and today I am here because we are going to start animating our uh, dinosaur character. So, if you want to make something like this, don't forget to check my previous tutorials, how to import models from Blender and how to rig a, a custom mod, uh, character in Roblox Studio. Well, in this tutorial we are going to focus okay, only on animate a character. In this case, to keep it simple and not very long the video, I'm going to animate an idle animation for this dinosaur. Okay, for Chromie. Well, the first thing that we are going to do is this. After we rig the character, we are ready to animate. We select the character and then we go to the plugins here and we select animations. Then we are able to start. Uh, obviously, it's going to type something like this, like create new animation. You can write idle animation an animation we say create and we are ready to start animating our character now here we have some things we can add all the parts in our model that are animatable then for example the first frame for me uh, also i can set here 60 frames per second that it's more fluid i guess and then i'm going to extend this to 60 frames now in the first frame i'm going to add here with the right click uh, mouse button a keyframe for all these things okay so this is like the starting position so i can start like modifying here making sure that it's in here in this frame so probably the starting position is like this i move here and then i start just putting the pieces together okay so this is a needle animation it's going to be like static okay but it's like a little movement okay so, but we are going to make something different in this case. I will try, okay? Also make sure that here in these three points, set the animation priority to idle, okay? So this is important. So now, now for example, in the frame here, from here to here to frame nine, probably, I'm going to make like a movement here of the head, probably the upper torso, probably a little bit the mouth open, so check then i'm going to go here forward and then i'm going to add another frame just to make it like stop a little bit okay so it's going to stop here and then i'm going to make something different i'm going to add here uh, i can add another frame here i'm going to duplicate these frames going going to say copy selected and then i'm going to go to 21 and paste frames so it's going to stop here just for a moment okay and then i'm going to go forward and then i'm going to check i'm going to make this kind of jumping thing on his i press r to change to move okay let's make like a jumping thing here and then here a little bit here i am using the lower torso because it's the one that it connecting everything so this is dangerous for the dinosaur we are going to move it a little bit upwards let's see okay and then we are going to rotate here i can start like rotating like this or I can copy this frame that is like the initial frame. So control C and I can go here. Control B. And then I say, well, in this case it's not moving correctly because it needs more. It's returning. So in this case, I'm going to modify this part and make it like this. Uh, a little bit upwards. And like this. That's it. Now the dinosaur is jumping here 
and let's say when it lands it goes a little bit down just to make like an effect or something here and then goes up here closes its mouth Ooh. and that's it Okay, probably the tail a little bit. It's going to move also. It's a like this. And then the tail returns. Okay, let's see. Okay, I guess it looks pretty nice. Okay, now we are going to start with the first frame. Okay, so this is something that we have to do sometimes at keyframe also here in the jumping we can change the animation style here from this part to this part probably something changing here i select here is in style i can select cubic that it's a little bit smooth and then out just to give a, a different effect during the jumping thing also here is in style i can select cube I can check with out or in out to make sure that it looks okay. Okay. Also the horns, we can move the horns a little bit here, here, mm -hmm. and then return them a little bit backwards. This one, I don't know, maybe that, that, let's see. Okay, I guess it looks pretty cool. Then we copy the first frame, and then we go to the last frame, and then we have the loop. Okay, then we just activate the loop. And that's it, but well, obviously for a needle animation, it's very jumpy, right? So to make it smoother, what we are going to do, make sure that it's not like hitting his head. Okay, snap. Let's disable the snap to kiss. It is like his horn is like having something here. Mm, like this. Okay, so we are going to make it longer. Okay, so in this case, I'm going to extend this to 120. Okay, and then here. So here I'm going to move it to 70. So check. It's returning to the original position. And then we are going to go here. Probably I'm going to add here another frame, but just a simple frame to make it a little bit backwards. Head down. And probably, probably a little bit like spinning the head but just a little bit. Uh -huh. Jump here. Then we are going to add another keyframes here just to stop it a little bit, some seconds. And then here we are going to add another one. And then we are going to spin to the other side. Okay. Here, here another frame just to stop a little bit also I'm going to move my little hands a little bit from here to here let's move it up I mean it's not going to be like very noticeable but well it's on these extra details And here and then here we also do this in the other frame and that's it so you need to be very patient with your animations guys okay here and then we can just uh, we can repeat these frames I, 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 I am going to repeat these frames here okay so this check from here to here spin and then just stay there 
Okay. We add another keyframe here. And then we return to the original position that is the starting of the loop. Okay. And let's see. Okay. Probably I'm going to add it 150 to make it stay like that. A little bit more. Control C. Probably from here to here. Okay. Okay, that is a happy dinosaur. Okay, and that is that's the way that we make an idol animation. Okay, so this is a quite different idol animation than the ones that I usually do. Okay, well, just to make it different. Okay, so it's going to be like this. When it's not moving, it's going to be like this. Very happy. Okay, and now we are ready to export the animation. Okay, so you just click export. And then you have your little animation. And that's it. Okay, well, guys, that's all for this video. Okay, you just write a name. See, if you don't have the option here, write a description. Uh, for example... Chromi idol animation and then you are able to do it okay well that's all guys uh, for this video my name is Sasa I will see you next time